I was wondering how uh, you say, say calm and chill often and what ways or practice you use to achieve this. Oh, let me read that again. Hey, Chicho, hope you're having a good day. I was wondering how you stay calm and chill often and what ways of practices you use to achieve that. Um, I, I go for gigantic, huge walks, sometimes uh, with music, sometimes without. Lately, I've been listening to a lot of music. Um, I make sure I spend the time when I need to spend the time to learn about what's happening and whatever I'm interested in. So for example, two days ago, Julian Assange was extracted from the Ecuadorian embassy, right? I woke up, when was it? Thursday, April 11th. I woke up at like five o'clock in the morning, heard the news. And since that time, because we did two live streams uh, since then, right? I was consuming news after news some of the information that I was some of the videos I was watching I was running about one and a half or twice the speed right and just straight focus and that's one of the things that keeps me calm and chill when I feel under pressure and that's one of the things that happens um, in our societies right if you feel under pressure uh, a lot of the time the reason that you're feeling under pressure is because it's a time-based pressure right you're under the gun okay there's a clock running and you need to get things done for a certain time and that's what our current education system has has indoctrinated people with right that is one of one of its functions to put people on the clock right and that introduces anxiety so if you feel like you're on the gun you need to learn something and you don't have the time first thing you got to do is slow down next thing you got to do is stop procrastinating because once you're procrastinating what it means is you're letting pressure build up right so people have asked me over the years uh chicho how do you uh, how do you how, how is it possible you're happy all the time and i'm not happy all the time only insane people are happy all the time right take the joker for example right he's got a smile 24 7. he's insane right we have multiple different emotions right and we're supposed to as human beings feel all of those emotions right so our current economic political system tells you if you're feeling bad if you're feeling sad then take a pill right and you don't have to feel that way but those emotions are required for us to be human right and to understand what's happening and to be able to process all that information so please appreciate that the people who've commented oh i'm always have almost good mood and stuff like this i try to be but i'm not always but one of the ways i've increased the frequency the period where i stay in that mindset is by not procrastinating right because when i'm procrastinating it means i'm not doing some of the things that i needed to get done right and that's building up behind me it's becoming more and more pressure on me right so one of the tricks that i've learned to do to be able to be productive did okay in school not bad pretty good right to be able to produce all this work that i'm doing is doing things in my life that i don't like doing first right so if anything comes up that i really need to do that i think i have to do right then what i end up doing is i put everything that i wanted to do almost everything on hold that was going to slow me down and i focus on this content here and i consume information do whatever it is that i need to do may it be physical labor mental labor reading cleaning up getting in contact with people whatever it might be right i do these things first and what i noticed over years and it takes a long time to reach the state right because most of us pro procrastinated we learn how to procrastinate early on in our lives because of our centralized education system right so as we grow up we realize that there's a lot of things we needed to do that we haven't done so start knocking that stuff down and what you're going to find out is this okay if you continue this for an extended period of time you're going to find out most of your life is not spent worrying about things that you need to take care of that you really don't want to tackle most of your life is going to be 
filled with things that you've always wanted to do because as soon as you start doing things that you, that come up right away that are a bother that are annoying that is are being forced on you just get them done right away then this queue over here is empty and this queue over here this wall over here is full of goodness that you want to do right that you could spend years doing okay so just imagine yourself standing there you got two pathways things you really dislike doing things you really love doing keep this side empty and as soon as something comes up get it done so it's always empty so the things that are you know you and <laughs> know you in life and whatnot whenever you look over here there's nothing there there's nothing to annoy you and you look over here and wow you got so many choices so much to choose from to make you happy to enjoy to create to work with to learn right so that's one of the tricks i've used uh in my life okay i'm not sure if i even answered the original question that came up but that's the direction it took me <laughs>